Delighted to have with us at ASCO 2011, Dr. Andrew Sloan of the University Hospital Case Medical Center in Cleveland, Ohio, and he's got some encouraging results for brain cancer patients and survival rates. Congratulations on your work. Thank you very much. Let's talk first about what led you to do this phase two study. Well, the standard treatments for malignant brain tumors, which is what we studied here, uh, unfortunately are not all that effective. And we really haven't made significant progress in something like three decades. Also, many of the chemotherapeutics and the radiation that we use as standard of care have side effects. We were very interested in seeing if we could create an immune response to the patient's own brain tumor. And thus, we've been interested in tumor vaccines or immunotherapy for a number of years. This particular vaccine is made up of something called a heat shock protein. Basically, we take the patient's own tumor out, uh, we harvest the heat shock proteins, and using a proprietary technology, the company is able to find the antigens that bind to those and use those to create a vaccine. So every patient's vaccine is specific and directed to their very own cancer. It's sort of the ultimate in personalized medicine. How was the study designed? Well, this was a phase two trial uh, compared to historical controls. And what we found at three centers is that the median survival for patients with recurrent GBM, this is the worst type of malignant brain tumor uh, that's already failed standard treatment and come back, uh, the median survival for those patients was 11 months, and we have several patients who are out several years. Uh, now, that may not sound super impressive, but when you consider that the control experiment, the people who did not get this vaccine typically survive for three to five months, it is pretty impressive. It's, you know, two to three times what was expected. And so that's really very, very exciting. Uh, and based on that, the plan is uh, to take this into newly diagnosed GBM, and that study will be underway very shortly. Would that be the phase three trial? Well, we're going to do a phase two in the newly diagnosed, and we're also then going to try to also do a phase three in the recurrent patients. Based on the long gap in progress you talked about, how did the results of your study meet your expectations? Well, I mean, we've made a significant improvement in the median survival in patients with this devastating disease. And I think it really gives new hope to those patients who have recurrent GBM, who frankly in many settings are told, you know, really there's nothing effective, go home, there's, we, we really have nothing to offer you. Now we do have something to offer, so it's, it's tremendously uh, important. And the other thing is there are very few side effects, unlike many of the other agents that we currently use uh, that may have some efficacy, but often trading off with certain deleterious side effects. Uh, the beauty of immunotherapy is there really has not been really significant side effects. It's got to be exciting for you. One of the worst things has to be when you have a patient and you say, there's nothing I can do for you and there's nothing I can really say. This, this, I can just feel you've got the mojo. Well, you're, you're absolutely right. It's very, very hard. It's the hardest thing we face. You know, m many of the patients come to me after already being told, the tumor's inoperable, there's nothing to do. And this really enables us to give patients hope, not uh, false hope, but real hope that they can get a response and we may be able to give them some meaningful uh, survival and uh, a chance at, at living. And uh, it's very, very exciting. Congratulations very, very exciting. on, sorry, congratulations on your work. Congratulations on your courage for taking on such an uphill battle. Thank you very much, you appreciate it. that.